beat, my heart skips. Standard sets on you guys. Just have to push harder the way that the tour worked out. By the end of it, you're just like, oh man, when are we gonna be there? Redesigning basically our whole show. So yeah. they are telling us, look that way. Okay. Uh, one more one, please. We'll add on the 11 that follows. They're flying across the field. We just love performing. Go out there and perform your hearts out. You are a contender. You are in the mix. Maxing it out. That's what we do. If I had a place to pick and a drum corps to be around, it would definitely be the Blue Dolls. On June 15, 2011, 151 young adults departed from Concord, California for a summer-long journey. An adventure that would take them to 20 states, 46 football fields, and 17 stadiums. An entire summer dedicated to a single show. For some, it's been a lifelong dream. This is where I knew I wanted to be. It's definitely something that I've dreamed about my whole life. For others, it's to inspire new ones. Hopefully, something I've said to them has inspired them to one day be in my shoes. We might see the Blue Devils and be so moved by it that he decides to go into the arts. But for everyone involved, this summer is about performing and loving every second of it. These are the members of the 2011 Blue Devils Drum and Bugle Corps, and this is their story.
everything that went down in 2011 with making all days a week shorter and going out and do it, seeing every core right off the bat. I mean, it's a whole new it's a whole new adventure for us that's never been done ever. San Diego was when we started changing our show. That was really the first. Um, it was the first time that we needed to go into change mode. We're making changes. We went through Texas and NorCal, and so now we're in SoCal changing the show. <laughs> Getting our uh, show, you know, more competitive. I'm not public. It's always fun to see what they have up their sleeves, the staff. It's exciting. We're all ready for it. Oh, yeah. It's always good when there's yeah. changes. I love changes. Just go from the big set and scatter in. It'll start scattered. Okay. It's just been reps and reps and reps. So it's, just, it's been a tiring couple days because it's just over and over the same thing. But um, it's going to be great for the next couple of shows that are coming up. So horn line reset that, you guys. We're going to take eight right. steps and freeze. A little bit closer to your partners, Nicole and Tyler. Outside the community. The staff is really good at changes too, because I think it's part of working here. I know we've had new staff members in the past that, you know, they're like, well, don't we just get drill charts and we teach the drill charts and then we're done? And it doesn't work that way here, so it's, it's a lot of push-pull, you know, move this over because there's a new guard idea, or move that over because there's a new drum idea, or whatnot. Here at the Blue Devils, we try to, you know, do more than a computer or a program can do. And so that's what the changes are all about, and trying to make, I mean, trying to make the show ours. I've never been a part of something that was number one before, so it feels really great to be a part of the first ever Four Peak Color Guard. That's Allison. She's very excited, as you can tell. I love my friends here. We have great performers from all around the country, all around the world. Normally we have uh, 20 girls and 20 guys split right in half, um, but this year we have um, more girls than guys. The staff, wow, they're absolutely amazing. We have the best staff in the world. Uh, we do the things that we do with four people that other groups need to do with like 10, just because our staff is so talented. In the color guard, we have four instructors. We have Scott Chandler, um, TJ Jacet, Robbie Jacobson, and Corey Robinson. Well, we have Scott Chandler, who's like the head honcho. He's the choreographer. He is basically just amazing. He designs the costumes, the flags, the color scheme, everything. His energy and his attitude every day just pushes the color guard. <laughs> then it feels like one comes up, hold the martini, then it's coming back down, five, six, seven, eight, and then make your way up. Our other instructor is TJ Doucette, and she is just incredible. Besides being like our mother, she is our, our secret weapon, she's our cleaner. And she cleans the heck out of us. There's a lot of contrast between continuous action and stopping and reversing direction out. And make sure you're in second, yeah, so turn a little bit more toward the back corner. Yeah, you were in fourth that time when we finished, it has to be second. And then we have Robbie, and Robbie definitely cleans our, us on saber. It's what your hands look like under the top and what your body looks like. So if you're like this, it's not as strong as if you're like this. And then we have Corey who is like our dance technician. When Scott's gone, he definitely warms us up. He's just a, a fun, active um, instructor. It's work. It's all about the work. It's all about the work. Happy. Okay, I'll talk. Yeah, I'll talk later. Hey, do you really know what it takes to be a part of the Buddha's Color Guard? It requires a lot of practice. A lot. Watch me now. Practice. And dance three six are a must have. And stretching and jump core is very important. 
You don't want to pull a muscle. We always look for the positives because we think the way we think is like this is bliss right now. I mean, even though it's hot and it's sweaty, there's always something to laugh about. <laughs> this is the Blue Devils color guard excited to go swimming in that thing right now. more fun to perform with people that are your friends. It's like a family. It's really nice to close this chapter with such an amazing group of people. I have a lot of friends that I'm going to miss a lot. We're all just a bunch of goofballs that love to have fun and perform and spin and dance. <laughs> Two thousand eleven drumline for the Blue Devils. Three hundred hundo one. Those are refreshing. Thanks, ready? Scott. Ready for that? This is the watermelon and chicken lick, aka known as the lick of destiny.
snare. He plays snare. He plays snare. This drumline is extremely healthy. So all these guys do is they drum constantly. We call it the cycle. You go from WGI to DCI to your marching band to WGI, and there's no there's no time off. Tempos at the drum line's marking out throughout the show from 200 to 195 to 187. That's about it, and it, it's flying. And don't get sloppy down here on this side. When we get to the second half, that's when it starts to get really sloppy. That sort of stuff there. Matt Cowan's our section leader. Matt's been in, this is his third year. Uh, he has one more year. Um, they call him the Terminator because he drums like a robot. He's so consistent. And... No. Still gonna give us a little tight tune on the fives. Okay, open those guys up. We have the first girl snare drummer in 27 years, and she's jamming like everybody else. And the cool thing about the tenor line, the four tenors, three of them marched in the same high school at the same time, La Quinta High School. And then we added a fourth tenor drummer who was in the B Corps last year. His name is Chris Drummer. Yes, last name Drummer. How cool is that? Those four guys are jamming, and the best thing is they don't age out. All four are gonna be here again next year, so watch out for this year and next year for those guys. The baseline, we have uh, two, I'm thinking two vets from last year. Um, the other three are new. Gilman, your lane markers. If you don't have them, you're an idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a better group of guys so far. Oh, everybody get set. <laughs> <Use that. laughs> well, we we're shooting tapioca balls with each other, and it's pretty entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Closest drumline I've ever been a part of. Out of time. We'd like to call it a night. 
I and E is, is the space of the solo competition of DCI. It's something that you have to work up outside of, of your regular rehearsal time on lunch breaks or on the bus whenever you have time. Some people, especially in the drum line, will write their own. And horn players and, and marimba players will often like play pre-composed pre works. a chance to show a new side of us.
Front Ensemble 2011. I'm feeling sour. Everyone's excited. We're all really close. It's like a close knit group. Everyone gets along really well and we play together really well. Hector is probably, you know, one of the best people. He's definitely the best section leader I've ever had in about nine years. You know, that this will be the best ensemble and just group of people that I will ever have the chance to play with and perform with. I have much more respect for Pitts now. When I was in drumline, I was just like, didn't really think much of it, you know. Didn't think much of how hard stuff they're playing is. So, a lot of respect. The biggest like, thing that I've liked the most about this group is just how humble we've been able to stay throughout the entire season. It's so much fun to play in an ensemble with these guys and just throw down and have fun every single day. And they're not going to let me keep this. We've been that crazy here. It's been amazing. Wouldn't trade it for anything. We love Phil in the morning. <laughs> morning. Morning. <laughs> all of you guys for the most memorable summer of my life. I couldn't imagine aging out anywhere else with any other people. <laughs> and when you're surrounded by so many great people and it's kind of hard to have a bad day.
So the 2011 version of the Blue Level Horn line so far is off to a great start. As always, we had a lot of talent audition. The approach to things here is different than anywhere else. You know, shoot for excellence every day. We work day in and day out. We want to make sure that we have a perfect show. That's our ultimate goal. Their effort to get better in the off season, they show up and the first day of the year, they're actually better than they were the day of finals. So it really becomes like, well, how can we challenge them? And John Bradford is just awesome at motivating them and coming up with crazy things for them to do. Your job as a performer is to make it look smooth and elegant, right? You know, this year we were like, let's try some tumbling. You know, so John was like, all right. So he had, you know, we're doing running somersaults, we're doing rolls, we're doing all these things. Because the membership is so advanced and creative and, and wanting more. You know? Well, the non-traditional movement is, is, is a big part of it. You know, we've, we've put so much training in over the last 10 years trying to get the horn line to move more like dancers. They're constantly able to do the most outlandish things we think of, so we're like, well, let's come up with something more outlandish until they can't do it. The Blue Devils treat us like adults. We work smart. It's got to be step. Da, 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 da. That's what it has to feel like. Watch, watch the lean here, middle tight. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Ready, go. Then when we turn the gas on at 39 and we add the articulation, it should sound like it swings more. We have the best staff in the world. We have the best members in the world. Just know how to do it. We're extremely efficient with our time. We know how to work smart rather than just working hard. And then you take these little chubby chubby steps and you're marching like this. So la 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 la, horns casual. And then you get into your... your I love the staff. Like this is my favorite place that I always come every year. It's because the staff is like on a personal level all the time. We take a lot of pride in the fact that we have tons and tons of members that go and teach. I came here with the, the greater purpose of bettering myself as an educator so I could give back to this activity in the future. And we did fours. So Samber go three off, Haruka one off, Nick three off, Brian one off. Michael, three off. And now we're there. I mean, I intend to go on and teach, but it's not the same getting to perform. It was amazing to walk in there with your shako down, um, listen to the crowd roar and yell for you. The adrenaline gives you what you need to get through the show. All right, Blue Devils, you're ready? Yeah! Get out of you, said you're ready? Yeah! rush of energy that going through your body like once you step on the field you hear a crowd 40,000 people yelling for you just insane loud you're gonna miss that I'm also gonna miss the quality of the performers here because you're not gonna you're never gonna march or play with another group of people like of, the, of this caliber very few people get to be part of an organization that demands excellence I'm in awe and super honored to be around people that are willing to train that hard for a singular moment. They're all incredible players, so it's really cool to be you know, surrounded by great trumpet players and great musicians.
it's really something special to watch and it's something special to be a part of now that I've been here. Here, I just felt like I was like welcomed right off the bat. I hear you're the man. That's what I heard too, I no idea. Who's the man? Justin Shee. Oh, okay. To brighten your morning. For breakfast. No breakfast like lemon hot Cheetos. That's right. I'm working on it. Yeah, that's it's pretty, some... It's pretty solid. That, it's pretty solid. Those are big for a girl. Everyone's so nice. Everyone here is just really nice and really accepting. We're on the 37. Okay, here we go. Some of the people here are the best friends I've had. It makes drum corps worth it. I moved from Arizona to SoCal to live with my two best friends who I marched with. And just have a blast for the whole summer, being really, really good. Ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of David Gibbs, the Blue Devils. You know, 
is the last show of my life on, on a football field. Couldn't have asked for anything else. And still, it's kind of kind of surreal, I guess, to think it's all over now. But. I couldn't have asked for a better age out show. I don't know. I'm just kind of at a loss for words. <laughs> And let it soak in and take what you learn here and take it for the rest of your lives because you're going to be awesome people. Blue Devils 10 Hut! Dismiss! <laughs>I've always just wanted to like stay in the Blue Devil family. Like I never wanted to go anywhere else. It's always been the Blue Devils for me. You grow up with like this big thing and then all of a sudden you're a part of it and then you, you actually get to see yourself a part of it. It's like a dream come true. It's like something you work so hard for and you finally get it. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a good feeling. At the end of their 60 day long journey, the conquered Blue Devils received a silver medal but they were rewarded something far more important than any neckwear, the intangibles. I've gotten the best friends um, I think I could ever make. When I'm gone and away and I don't do it anymore, I'm gonna miss seeing them. And I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> oh, we get along so well, like, chemistry, I'm gonna miss everyone. Thank you, Blue Devils! <laughs> I just ended the day as a Blue Devil and I'm forever going to be a Blue Devil and that's all I ever wanted. I'm part of a four-peak of the guard and I couldn't have asked for a better season. I love them and I'm going to miss it. This has been a crazy season and a crazy each out. <laughs> They're all happy. Are you guys happy? You guys were responding so well to me. I was like, I cannot make a mistake right now. Okay, and you guys were putting lots of pressure on me and no horn line has done that in a very long time. Really sad to leave, but it's time and I just wanna thank everybody I've met and uh, enjoyed this time with. And the trust that you guys have in us is so sincere and that's the reason that I feel like I've been so lucky to teach her for so long. <laughs> Wishing. You know, that nothing would change that I come back and everyone's gonna be here again. It's kind of sad, but, you know, people move on. You're such a boss. I love the Blue Devils. The bottom of my heart. I feel really awesome. Best summer of my life. Do you got this? So there's 10 minutes of rehearsal left, and unbeknownst to everyone else on this field, I found out that the greatest snack ever is being made right now in the Blue Devils known as Cheesy Bagels, and all madness is going to break loose when everyone finds out, but I know, and Roach knows, and as soon as rehearsal's over, we're running for the food truck, because it gets crazy on Cheesy Bagel Night. It's my girlfriend. She looks after me. Can't wait till next year though. Whole quad line coming back. Gonna smoke it. Gonna be finals clean at auditions, baby. I'm the last did the same thing. 
<laughs> he has no idea what he's talking about. I do. You guys want to check sleep? Yeah. 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 Just don't invite me into any Words of Friends games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to accept them. Okay, dark retard. <laughs> Hey, by the way, Got simulated to the, uh, the surroundings, the stands, and everything. Max. That's Rudy. He's the South Max. Rudy. It was a fun run. Coming back next year with the vengeance. Watch out.